How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about charge point. You guys already know these are one of my high conviction plays and many of you are saying, have you seen it pull back inside of the market? Of course I have. And you know, I've been playing it as well. So before we get started, of course, we got to go over the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you are a shareholder or you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to be going over is a technical analysis, taking a look at the overall price action. Of course, you guys know how bullish I am on ChargePoint. It has been pulling back. So if you are considering actually taking an investment or taking a trade, I feel it's very key to know where those areas of support are, just in case it decides to pull back further. Also looking at where it's at currently and also knowing those areas of resistance where it needs to get past because if it does pass it, we can look forward to seeing some strong moves. And then secondly, we're going to be taking a look at the short interest information. We already know there's a lot of shorts taking advantage of medium cap and smaller cap growth growth stocks is charge point one of them we'll figure it out and then we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution we want to know what is the buying and selling going on in regards to Friday. And then we're going to quickly take a look at the shareholder breakdown. I feel this is very key and it's part of the reasons why I'm going to be sharing it. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts. So let's jump to it. So we're going to be doing a technical analysis on charge point. Let's see how it performed on Friday. So we ended up closing at $22.56, being down 6.23% on the low it tested $22.53 and then on the high testing $24.20 when we take a look at the volume stats on the day we can see we traded at 9.746 million shares and as far as for the average volume over 10 trading days it was around 8.439 million shares so just a little bit above average but as you can see we definitely had a lot more selling pressure it was Friday being known as a sell day as well and it has been pulling back now another thing that we want to go over we're using the one year daily chart is seeing how it lines up with our indicator so we can see from the RSI down below we're right here around 35 point Five, five. So you can see that charge point is definitely in the oversold territory here. Another thing is when we take a look at our indicators on the chart, we are below the 200 day, the 21 day EMA, and as well as the 100 day. So taking this into consideration where we're sitting at right now around this 2250 level, we're right on an area of support. If it does decide to pull back even further below this 2250 area, then I'm going to be looking forward to seeing how well it could hold up around 2151 if it breaks through 2151 of course i want to see 20 dollars hold up anyone that believes in the long-term prospects of charge point i feel these are great areas as far as if you want to hold this stock for at least the next two to three years here and this is part of the reason why i wanted to do this video because charge point is one of my high conviction plays so seeing that it's pulled back quite a bit and it is sitting on support we want to see some strength. We want to see a move up. We've seen uh, some selling days, as you can see here, and we ended up seeing an area of resistance when we were moving right here around this $26 range. So I want to see a reversal in this pattern, but if we don't get it, of course, you already know I'm going to be adding even more to my long-term position as well. And as far as seeing a reversal is concerned, we want to see a climb back up here to the 100-day, climbing back into the $26 level, and then reaching a 21-day EMA so we can make that move going into to the $27 area. So we're going to take a look at the short interest information for charge point. So we can see the short volume ratio being at 31.49%. As we scroll down on the page, the short shares availability is at 4.5 million shares updated three minutes ago. And as far as for the short ball free rate, it's at 1.12%. Now, when we take a look at the short volume ratio, according to the numbers that we see from FINRA here on July the 23rd, we have the short volume ratio at 51 
0.09 but we could see also it was in the 60s as well taking in the look as far as july the 22nd and as well as the 21st so taking everything into consideration here definitely looking forward to seeing some moves in charge point it has been beaten up quite a bit of course we're not getting the same amount of volume that we're getting and of course it's also affected by the infrastructure plan any news you hear about that of course that's going to have an impact on charge point we just have to be patient and see what happens now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for charge point so we can see here on the inflow we had 35 and on the outflow we had 44 we had one on the large 16 on the medium and 17 on the small on the outflow side we have two on the large 23 on the medium small being 19 of course outflow wins out large scale orders in the last five days you can see we had two outflow days in the past five days we also had an outflow day on the 23rd which was the friday being at 157.67 and also on the 19th being at 2612.52 and of course, this is of no surprise whatsoever. We've seen a lot of growth stocks being beaten down quite a bit. A lot of the money is being shifted out of them and it's going into a lot of the bigger caps. I know I sound like a broken record here, but I want you guys to be aware of the market trends because this has been happening for quite some time. So many of you have seen it actually move up and so forth. So part of the reasons why you're seeing this, we also have the infrastructure bill. When you hear news about that, ChargePoint could benefit from this. If you hear bad news, news about it or you see some sort of resistance coming on about it then of course charge point is going to pull back and then you add that on top of the fact that median cap growth stocks are getting killed then of course charge point is going to be feeling the effects so for anyone who's inside of this play even though it's looking like it's been pulling back i urge you to make sure you have high conviction and you do your homework and as well as your due diligence so now we're going to be taking a look at the shareholder ownership now looking at the shareholder breakdown we can see institutions own 42 0.69% of charge point as far as the corporation 20 corporations 24.38% insiders 2.30% and as far as for retail investors 30.63% and this is taken the date as of July the 1st and you can see there were increases in positions for institutions and as well as insiders so taking this all into consideration it's great to see institutions are heavily invested in charge point what we see from this alone it just tells us that they believe in the long-term prospects because they're not going to be dumping their money or putting a lot of it into plays that are not going to be giving them a great return on investment Investment. And these are part of the reasons why I have such high conviction when it comes to charge points. So now let's jump into the final thoughts. So for my final thoughts for charge point, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how the week is going to turn out. We've seen it pull back quite a bit. Yes, it did enjoy a little bit of a run because we had a recent news catalyst. We are seeing that they're really trying to expand their presence in regards to the European markets with the acquisition that they recently made. And this is also great to see because we know as far as ChargePoint is concerned, not only they're gonna benefit from the infrastructure bill, but they're also gonna be benefiting by their rapid adoption of EVs overall on a global scale. So by expanding their presence, it gives them the opportunity to make more revenues and of course this is going to be reflected in the stock another thing to understand and what we really like to see there's a lot of institutions who are vested in charge point and you already know they're going to be holding shares for a while so i feel like as far as where the price of where charge point is right now you're definitely getting a deal and if it decides to pull back even further of course use the dollar cost averaging approach and add even more to your position this is the type of stock two to three years from now, I wouldn't be shocked if it's hanging around 60 to $70, even possibly even higher. So just taking a look at this, I want to make sure you guys do your homework and do your due diligence and see if this will be the right play for you. Also, when we took a look at Fintel, taking a look at the short interest information, of course, we have a lot of short sellers who are vested in this play. We see a lot of the medium caps as well as the small cap growth stocks have been getting beaten up 
quite a bit. A lot of the money is being moved out and it's going into the bigger caps due to the fact that they've been crushing it in regards to earnings. So I don't want you to be surprised. I don't want you to have anxiety, especially if you might be in charge point and you may have a high cost average, then maybe this might be your opportunity to actually average down. Because I feel like if you're vested in this play, then of course you already know where this stock could be five to 10 years from now. And taking that into consideration, I would highly suggest you start looking at your position and then you can see what you can do and what's the right decision for you. I, for myself, I'm going to continue to keep ChargePoint in my long-term portfolio because I believe I have high conviction and I know for a fact, I know you're saying there's nothing in life is actually guaranteed, but at the same time with this particular play, I just feel like there's so much upside ahead. Also, I cannot forget, if we take a look at the analyst price targets on ChargePoint, I think they're around $37, $36 as well. So just taking that into consideration, they're just saying that from one year from now. So so if we see consistency on earnings reports, we're seeing improvements, then I could definitely see them past that and being in that range I was talking about in the $40 range and maybe even approaching close to 50. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll be talking real soon.